Again, let me tell you, Art, answer the wild card line. My boyfriend is in a small plane north of Las Vegas, ready to fly into Area 51. He's been trying to call you by cell phone. And uh, here he is. Uh, you're on the air. Hello. Hello there. Is this Art Bell? Yes, sir, it is. Yeah, my name, I won't give you my last name. For okay, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, sir. Hold on. The, the fax is signed by somebody named who? Jill. Jill, that is correct, so you are the one. That's my girlfriend. Uh, yes, sir. Where are you? Well, I'm up here from Fort Worth in my little airplane. It's a long sea I built myself. It's a Bird Group 10 design with the Ford Canard. I'm not sure if you know the kind. It's an experimental aircraft. You know, I'm not... That, but not anymore. No, tell me about it. What kind of airplane is it? Well, it's a long, easy. It's got 120 horsepower, like homing in it, but we had it bored and stroked and fixed it up a little bit. It uh, usually flies around 140, 160 indicated airspeed. I'm right now at 7,000 feet. You know where this place called Indian Springs is? Indian Springs, yes. Yeah. Well, I've been flying now for about 45, 49 minutes here. Yeah between Beatty, is that what you call it, and Engine Spring. And I figure I'll just uh, go on up here and uh, try to get into this Area 51. I'm right south of this Nevada test site, or Dallas Air Force Base. Listen. And I'm right outside this restricted zone. Listen to me. When you fly, uh, when you fly into that zone, yeah. they are going to either force you down or shoot you down. Don't you know that? Well, you know, I've been in a lot of Air Force bases, and I've been in the Air Force for many years. I'm an ex-Air Force, but I'm just going to tell you that, you know, uh, as American citizens, we have the right to know what's up there in this Area 51. And I've been listening to you boys talk about this. Hold on here, I'm making a turn. And, uh, just a second here. And I'm, uh, and I'm going to go on up there and see what's going on. And I just wanted to let you know about that before I do that, don't you know? How long... Um, how long do you estimate it's going to be before you... Um, I think about 14, 12, 14 minutes. Let's crank this baby up a little bit here. Let's do that. Let's crank this thing on up. We've got some pretty good mountains here off to my uh, west, don't you know? I'm turning up north right now, and I can see uh, I can see the Air Force base out there in the distance. It's uh, got three runways. It looks like they're all lit up. And uh, A-shaped. It's like north south got a lot of desert up here, don't you, boy? A lot of desert, yes. A lot of desert. Now, uh, you're liable to get yourself killed. I'm sorry, sir, you have to speak so loud. I cranked this engine all the way up here. I, don't I said, I said you're liable to get yourself killed. Well, we'll get up there in a few minutes, yeah, and we're just going to see what's going to happen, because this is a, I've, I've got a, a Red Cross is painted on this baby, and i got hospital on it, see? And maybe they're going to think that I'm on a, some kind of a mercy flight and I'm just off course. And I've got the radios cut off, so you can have radio failure, don't you know? And so uh, I'm going to hold this thing set here about around 65, 68, 100 feet. Why are you doing this? Why are you I'm doing this? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm a American. Uh, my family has been American for years, and I want to get down in here and I want to find out what's happening. Here. All right, then why, why are you doing it at night? Because that's the best way to get in here. But uh, even if you manage, not, even if you manage to overfly the area, what I'm do? I'm in the restricted zone. I just entered the restricted zone. I see a bunch of bikes out there. Looks like some kind of a search bike coming on. You're in the restricted zone now. I just crossed that restricted zone. I'm going to drop the thing down. Hold I'm telling here. you, you're going to get shot down. Hold on here now. I got my pressure suit on. I don't really need one of this kind of aircraft. It's not like a jet, but it helps us. When I make some tight turns here, and I'm going to cut down here. Now, let's see what these boys are going to do. I don't see anybody coming up here yet. I just see a bunch of lights. But uh, I'm pretty far from that Area 54, and I'd take about another eight, nine minutes here. And uh, it's hard to calculate right now trying to talk to you. I'm trailing an antenna out here about 30 feet so I can keep this phone conversation. If we get cut off, then, uh, but I'm going to go up here and see what's going on. They say there's bunchy fluid bows and there's all kind of things out here. And we're going to, I want to get this baby right down here about a thousand feet. And we're going to see if there's any UFOs or anything out here, what's going on. Listen, I think you're making a mistake. Well, sir, I might be, you know, but, uh, you know, our tax dollars pay for all this. 
And this forest, they've been hiding everything under all this black project and all this uh, great funding and all this kind of thing. So don't you think, don't you, don't sir, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't you think that we have a right to national security secrets? Uh, I think we have, not really, because you know they have these uh, J-11 and J-15 satellites up there. And the rest, they know what we're doing. And the Chinese, they've got satellites down here. That they know what's going on. The only thing they don't know what's going on is the silent folk like me and you. And us common folk got a right to know because we're funded all this. How long have you been planning this? I got this thing down here by a thousand feet. I've been planning this thing now. I'm right on the deck, not quite on the deck. I'm at a thousand feet. Boy, they got my boat popping up everywhere. I'm telling you, they got search lights. There's about four of them out here. And I've been planning this now for, oh, anywhere from a month to six weeks. It took me a while to paint up the plane because I had to use that Imran. Uh, the only thing but stick to this gel coat I got on this thing. This thing's built out of gel bar and carbon fiber. I got it dressed HG positive, 10G stick, and it's overbuilt. I tell you what, I want to get down here and firm like a little frog that's been tipped on by big dog when I get down here. In a few minutes here, I'll tell you that. Because I'm not going to... Hey, looks like there's an F-16 coming up here. I wouldn't be surprised. You're making a mistake. Sam with somebody down there. He's got some afterburners on so I can see him. He's about five miles out. That old boy is cranking. Yes, what? sir. And I see something opening up here on the ground. It's the... Uh, I'm pretty low now. I'm starting to pick up all kind of buildings down here. I see something here is level with the... with the ground. And this... They're opening this thing up. There looks like something's coming up out of that. I can't tell you what it is. It must be on some kind of a... Uh, hold on here, I gotta, I gotta make this turn. Alright. I think this old boy's gonna head up here for me. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, he's gonna be up here right directly, because he's in the F-16, sure as hell. He's coming to hold on here. I would advise you to turn your... Wait, we get to this. I would advise you to turn on your radio. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, we can do this now. Come on, here. Hold on, this old boy's coming up here. Now he's got his lights. He's got his lights on and he's flashing me. Yeah, he's probably. Right, I'm waving at him. No radio. No radio. No radio. He don't know that. Well, if I were you, I'd turn it on. These folks are listening to Art Bell because everybody listens to Art Bell. Uh, well, so maybe if, if, if you're making. I gotta get the You're making a bad calculation because if they're not listening, you're gonna be shot down. I don't know what he's gonna do here. He's rocking his wings at me right now. This uh, he's rocking his wings and he's cut in front of me. And you know this uh, oh, don't cut in front of me now, because if he cuts that coat, stay off. Stay off. He could use a vortex from his engine. I'm cracking with the engine. We're gonna just like twin tornadoes. If he gets too close, stay off, bro. Hold on there. I'm getting down on the deck. I'm going in. I'm getting down there. He ain't gonna get me. I'm that damn veteran. They ain't gonna get me there. They didn't get me over there. They're not gonna get me over here now. Looks like some kind of rail gun coming up out of that elevator, uh, that flat uh, area over there that the doors opened up. It's got some kind of a, a weird looking barrel on it with a light. And, uh, oh hell! They're doing something. They're shooting at me now. Oh god. So baby, I'm going in. I think I'm going in. I'm not sure what we just heard. All I can tell you is I got a fax that read Art, answer the wild card line. My boyfriend is in a small plane north of Las Vegas and ready to fly into Area 51. He's been trying to call you by cell phone. I withheld the signature at the bottom of the fax so I could be sure that if I did get the person, I could verify it. Indeed, it was signed by Jill. 